you. So, Ronnie, you've been involved in a bunch of private equity or private equity deals and public company deals, and you know the and you work closely with management as they're going through this transition to business. What do you think the biggest surprise to somebody who's managing a company and going through a transaction? What are some of the things that they just don't think about or are surprised by as they go through this process? Yeah, I think you know sometimes management just underestimates the amount of time it will take and the effort it will take. And, you know, if they look at the breadth of their accounting department, you know, some of them, again, are are very small and not as robust. And so um, really what it takes to get through a transaction, particularly if you're going to go like public or even like in a lot of my experience, I've done a lot of uh, divestitures and spinoffs. And, you know, again, those are massive projects where it takes a lot of people to get the work done. And there's so many different stakeholders that are involved in those transactions. And they have to keep everybody apprised of what's going on from their board you know, of directors to their external auditors. And then obviously if they're coming, bringing consultants in to help them again, to do that, to do the work and the legwork that needs to be done um, as they you know, focus on their day-to-day -day operations. I really think that that's a challenge um, for a lot of CFOs to try to just manage all of that. Yeah, it sounds like a really complex process. I mean, you need a, a project manager because there's so many different interest parties and there's different timelines going on and there's different things that have to be done. So you really have to have somebody that's looking at it holistically and managing people and saying, hey, we got to stay on track. We've got to hit these deadlines in order to close on time. So, uh, Ryan, you know, some of your experience is kind of going into a company that's transaction, working shoulder by sh shoulder to shoulder with management and helping them navigate these difficulties. Um, and, you know, during transition times or volatile times in a business, maybe it's just a transaction happening. You know, you have people leave uh, and then, you know, they need to supplement their team like they have to keep running the business. So can you talk to me about, you know, how you work shoulder to shoulder and how you try to head off problems uh, and look around corners and help clients do that? Yeah, I think it's important to note that every transaction is different. Every company is different. So the approach is always tailored. Right, so each company is going to have its own resources that they can deploy that have their own skill set and their own capacities. So generally, I want to come in and figure out how best can we complement who's already there. You know, in some cases, that may be just from a project management perspective to sit on top to make sure that we air traffic control. You know, the various work streams and the larger parties in the working group. Other times, it may be dealing with some of the technical issues that come up to deal with an auditor or an investment bank or a potential buyer. Um, in other cases, if the company is sophisticated enough to handle most of those on their own, we can actually help augment the accounting operations itself to help run the day-to-day -day while the company can focus on the sophisticated issues with the transaction.